What pisses you off about new movies these days? Trailers. They're always about four minutes long. Give away the entire plot, show you all the best scenes and jokes, and basically ruin the movie before you've even watched it. In the meantime, Netflix shows some random scenes that have barely anything to do with the plot. <laughs> the disparity in volume. Explosions are so loud that they hurt in conversations or whispers. I stopped going to the cinema and started waiting for them to be available at any streaming service so I could turn it down or up and so I can enjoy it. This is why I need subtitles, because everything but the dialogue is too loud. Not just movies, but TV shows. They take a book that's got great reviews, make a poor job of translating it on screen, and then flip the ending so it's the opposite of what happened in the book. Proceeds to blame the audience when they pan it for being crap. Hey, that's not fair. TV shows also totally butcher video game adaptations. We didn't think about the game. We didn't talk about the game. The sound mixing. Turn up the volume to hear the dialogue and suddenly you have damaged eardrums because there was an explosion. It's insane. Looking at you, Nolan. Not just that, the amount and volume of music is getting pretty bad. Iconic movie themes are iconic because they come in at very integral parts. Some movies these days have such constant music that it's hard sometimes to even hear the dialogue at times. How dark they are, like literally dark. It's difficult to see what's going on, especially for those of us with vision problems. Forced comedy. I have a bone to pick with comedy in general. I felt that ever since the Anchorman area, we just decided that comedy movies were in the line of sketch comedy. Create a funny situation, let the comedian riff for 20 minutes, take the best take and move on to the next funny situation, which is why comedy movie plots have since the early 2000s. Sure, I love Kristen Wiig, Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, Melissa McCarthy, etc. But damn, I can't help but think that some comedians that have come out in the last 20 years would be memorable if they wrote a funny script instead of making a 120 minute sketch show. We don't have enough reboots or reboots of reboots. We need more. The overuse of cover songs. Recently, been a lot of classic rock songs covered by an artist who recorded a slowed version of it. When they aren't new, but an unnecessary sequel to something from 30 years ago or a sequel to a movie that had a definitive ending and never needed a sequel. Looking at you, A Christmas Story Christmas. For horror and mystery, everything having to be explained. A movie like the original Alien would be lambasted by online critics if it were released today. For the simple reason that by the end of it, you know next to nothing about what happened. What was the creature? What was the derelict? Why did the company want it, really? The movie has stood the test of time precisely because it avoided answering those and other questions. Lack of originality. Can't apply this to every new movie, but most of them are recycling movies that have been made before. The color palettes of the nowadays movies. Either they have to be way too colorful, which destroys the atmosphere of the movie's plot, sometimes it proves it, not gonna lie, but that's just a small fraction. Or maybe just way too dark, which sometimes is just hard to watch and make out what's happening with the scene itself. Perfect example being most of the stuff nowadays on Netflix and shows and movies, you won't make half of the scenes until the brightness is throttled all the way up to sun in your monitor. Lazy acting on their behalf for sure. Now most of them are the same and it's like seeing the same movie hundreds of times. Same story themes predictable from the start, same cliches, same forced narratives because it's trendy and worked for other movies. Two things for me. One, blatant trend hopping. It's barely even been a year of the multiverse trend and I'm already so tired of it and look how many, look guys, it's a children's property, but it's a slasher and has gore. Isn't that shocking and subversive? Have cropped up lately. It's just annoying and unoriginal. Two, how American remakes, releases, of foreign international films soften all the edges and hate dark, morally ambiguous endings, i.e. Insomnia, The Descent, Old Boy, etc. I hate the new Disney films the animated characters make to look half real, half not real. And they've made them to look the same. They should make a new movie but in the old style animation like a Lady and the Tramp animation. Without the racism, obviously. Several things really. There's no hero's journey, no character development that amounts to anything. Lots of movies go out of their way to not offend the loudest 10% of Twitter trolls. 
More and more movies are portraying men as weak, bumbling, incompetent children. Fight scenes look like they were shot in an earthquake. 110-pound lingerie models with no muscle flat tone lining a guy that outweighs them by 80 pounds like they were Brock Lesnar or Mike Tyson. That's not how cars work. Like at all. Me. That's not how physics works. Everyone who passed middle school physics. I miss real sets on fantasy and sci-fi films. Not saying that CGI isn't great in its own way, but I miss real tangible effects. Two of my favorite movies is the original Blade Runner and Alien. Those were real sets with real props, and to me, it brings something that CGI doesn't fully capture. At the same time, when done right, is awesome as well. And I'm fully aware we're never going back to the good old days of big sets. I miss great movies that were subtle and slow. Now let the characters develop naturally, that allow for the motivations to slowly evolve or slowly be revealed. Everything is all flash nowadays. I also think the writing has gone down the tube, which I think relates to that writer's strike a few years back. The lack of theater shown mid-budget comedies and dramas and thrillers and rom-coms and character-driven movies. It's all big budget action or cheap to make horror movies. Not that I don't enjoy those as well, but I would like variety back. Just look at some of those films released in 1999. For example, Fight Club, American Beauty, 10 Things I Hate About You, Green Mile, American Pie, The Matrix, Eyes Wide Shut, The Mummy, Notting Hill, Office Space, She's All That, Girl, Interrupted, The Sixth Sense, Star Wars Phantom Menace, Sleepy Hollow, Cruel Intentions, Galaxy Quest, Dogma, Varsity Blues, Virgin Suicides, Big Daddy, Magnolia, Talented Mr. Ripley, Boondock Saints, Austin Powers 2, Bone Collector, Being John Malkovich, Iron Giant, Mystery Man, Blair Witch Project, Boys Don't Cry, Three Kings, Ninth Gate, Bringing Out the Dead, The Thomas Crown Affair, The Insider. It's just Marvel movies. I'm so freaking tired of regurgitated superhero formulas. Please God, just give me one morsel more of original story. Everything, everywhere, all at once can only go so far. They're all just becoming franchised movies. I hate how you barely get any proper standalone films anymore. TV shows are guilty of this too, but the bad audio mixing drives me up a bad wall. You know where the theme song or music are as loud as bad, but then you can barely make out the dialogue at the same volume. That shit needs to stop. They try to hide poor writing and poor acting behind VFX. Many of the artists behind the big screen aren't paid much and aren't treated very well. Deadlines given to artists are often unrealistic and unreasonable. There haven't been any good voice actors in a long time. They rely heavily on actors who already have a name and audience. Films aren't done to make good films anymore. They're done only to make as much profit as possible. No originality. They are way too many concepts being put into films trying to keep everyone happy. Personal pet peeve of mine is too many of them rely on characters sending receiving text messages. Oh, and Disney is buying all the major studios. If they intend to buy out their competition, they have all the money to throw at people who know how to do their job well and come out with great films instead of making all their past films into live action films. When a remake, reboot, sequel of an old movie comes out and they try to act like it's the definitive best version of the movie. Example, new Jumanji series, reboots of Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, and, or any live action Disney remakes. I hate searching up clips or music from the original, and Google thinks I'm talking about the new movie as if that's the best one, or people who have legit asked me why I would watch the original Aladdin when I could watch the live action one. Every villain has to be sympathetic now. Nobody's just evil or bad anymore. The MCU forcing viewers to watch multiple mediocre TV series to understand what's going on in the movies. They're going to lose so much of their audience that way. Plus, with so much content being pumped out, there are so many confusing inconsistencies. They're forcing so much of the number of projects, so there isn't enough time or resources being devoted to making sure that the content is actually good. I've been massively disappointed by almost every Phase 4 movie, and I have heard so many negative things about most of the TV shows that I haven't even bothered watching them. So sick of the blatantly obvious CGI and the lack of soundtrack originality. Not everything needs to have the same synth string interlude or the partition-like bass drops. The endless sequels and remakes also need to stop. Leave my childhood memories alone. Get creative, Hollywood. Too much spectacle too many comic book adaptations, too much screen time, not enough advancing the plot and trying to set up other movies or TV shows. Runtimes are unnecessarily long.
They're all written by either passionless insiders who get jobs as favors for friends as opposed to being the best suited for the material or by the children of filmmakers who have no actual talent. It's all Marvel movies. There are so few titles that are 18 rated. It's all pretty safe and just spoon fed to you. No character development as well. I'm not the oldest, the grand scheme of things, but uh, I miss the slower, more character driven stories. They give away all the good parts in the advertisement. Too many sequels, remakes, revivals, reboots for my liking. Too many movies play on Remember the 90s when you were young? The Marvel formula. Not saying they're bad, but those movies are pretty much all the same. Consistent music. Movies aren't afraid to be quiet in the past. Now you have to be bombarded by sound amped up music the whole time, even for trivial events. Two characters can't just be talking in a car anymore. The stereo has to be on and blaring whatever artists the studio contracted with. More focused on special effects and action than a good storyline and good acting. I actually get bored in action movies. Oh boy, here we go. One, revenue is the first priority and because DVD sales are not a thing anymore, they have to make their money back almost entirely in the box office. But most budgets are so over bloated that the only way to make back their money is if the movie makes a bazillion dollars. This means first, the studios are only making reboots or sequels of established franchises. Second, they are trying to make it appeal to the minimum common denominator, meaning they can't have anything that might have consisted even remotely offensive to anyone. And third, they have to pander to China. Two, because of number one, studios try to please everyone all at once. This means that they go out of their internet to get opinions, and who has the loudest opinions? The fans. So they will bend over backwards to accommodate the loudest fans without stopping to consider that their ideas might be terrible and would actually make the movie worse. Because of number one, and the need to not offend anyone, they put political and social messages before creativity, resulting in boring movies that end up pleasing no one. For example, every movie with a strong female lead that is already perfect knows kung fu and beats up every man, even if they're 50 pounds heavier and 2 feet taller. For, because of all the above, studios have to interfere in every creative aspect in the movie. Having good experienced writers and directors with their own ideas make this very difficult so studios hire absolute nobodies that have no business running a billion dollar project because they can control them. The end product is poorly written and directed, creatively bankrupt movies and shows designed by a committee that achieve the opposite by pleasing no one. Kind of applies to movies and shows when they split stuff that doesn't need to be split. Don't give me six episodes in season six, part one, and then the other half in season six, part two a year later. That's just two separate small seasons that your marketing is one. Same with movies. We don't need to split Dune into two parts. We don't need to split Harry Potter into two parts. Just spend the time making the entire product and release it a single time. The lack of strong male leads anymore. They are now dumb idiots who the girls are too smart for. They turned Thor into an idiot character in his own show. The need to insert modern day politics into movies that are just based on older times where it doesn't make sense at all. It's right out of the experience. There are of course exceptions to everything I say, but this is about covers it for me. Repeating formulas, bad fight choreography, shaky cam fights, is it jump cuts where they are unnecessarily cut 42 times in 30 seconds, unwatchable. Prequels about characters who die in the original thing. Sure, it's a cool character, but I know what happens to them and it takes away the stakes of everything in the prequel. Remakes and reboots of already good movies. Actors getting paid $20 million up front and getting all the big roles. I'm not against people getting paid well, but that kind of money shouldn't come from the success of the movie, not be part of the budget. I understand why everyone working on the movie can't get a decent upfront salary with a percentage-based bonus on the back end. Too much superhero movies comic book adaptations. Love the first Marvel adaptations, but now every movie follows the same formula and every character has to drop half-assed sarcastic one-liners every five minutes. Not everyone needs to be RDJ. Plus, the requirements from Disney for movie theaters to even air the movie push the rather interesting movies out of the theaters. Change so much of it from games, books, and even films based on songs. What's the point in making the film if they aren't going to follow through? Especially when they cut scenes that is part of the game's books and songs. 1. Short takes, camera is always moving. 2. Orange teal color schemes. 3. Poor acting. 4. Too much CGI. Too much CGI. It's heavily leaned on and the storyline sometimes can get lost in it. 
Instead of a deep, meaningful story, CGI is pumped in there. Due to this as well, there's too much action and not enough character building. Marvel, I'm looking at you. The seeming lack of time travel. This may be more sci-fi specific since my two examples are the new Star Wars and Star Treks, but older movies could take some time to show you the characters traveling in a place. Those scenes on the Falcon with Luke training and R2 and Chewie playing space chess. In the new movies, they leave those downtime scenes out and it's just one action scene to another. I guess filmmakers are playing to tiny attention spans. Those scenes show that there were some distance between places and really made the world seem vast. That's all gone in the new movies. Bam! You're there almost immediately. Really kills any plot that relies on characters taking time to get someplace. Two things. One, political agendas. I don't care if it's pro-Trump or feminist or LGBT. Don't want any of it in my movie, adventure, and even rom-com movies. Keep that shit in political drama movies. This includes pushing normalization of inappropriate behaviors, e.g. kids and sex. Two, Bad writing, bad acting, underwhelming effects for budget, stupid directors being called a man baby for not giving it 11 out of 10. I have a few, and most of them are overly prominent in Disney movies and TV shows of late. Every other movie being, wow, look, it's the first pansexual Demi Foxkin protagonist ever. Being hyperbolic here. Cool. Is it a good movie, though? Fan baiting and marketing. It started with Ghostbusters in 2016. Well became more mainstream with the whole if you don't like this you're just a sexist unlikable new character introduced in established franchise popular character who has been in franchise for a long time i like them they're just shit in so many ways agendas poor story writing literally changing canon to shoehorn and a strong female character lack of originality the list is endless i have unsubbed all streaming and just took up gaming I want to be entertained, not lectured. Movies these days seem intent on telling you how good of a person you are for merely existing. They keep forcing woke characters and having them there because they're woke. Like making Velma gay and giving Shaggy the tan of a lifetime is asking for criticism. Long-running series like Scooby-Doo has made Shaggy an icon, and most of Scooby media portrays him and Velma having an on-off relationship. Compare that to Jesus from The Walking Dead when he's actually a badass character not there for the sole purpose of being a gay character is relevant to the plot. Same goes for Aaron who is in the same show. Same applies when you make changes to a character. Take Gaz from Modern Warfare. Yes, they made him black, but they also made him more memorable than his original counterpart and overall a better written character. Lazy writing. Trying to add diversity in such a normal ass backwards way. Instead of having diversity in a normal way, they add the flamboyant gay as if that's an everyday, everywhere thing. Simply not. Replacing a white person with a person of color, whitewashing them, or being over the top in stereotypes. It would make more sense to write new things than replace characters with diverse roles. Also, replacing fairy tale characters with people of color. It's all fine and dandy to write new roles, but that's white culture. I'm tired of seeing white people automatically the bad guy. I'm exhausted of them shutting everyone up if they don't agree with their opinions. I'm tired of lazy casting and writing. It's getting ridiculous. It's insulting to literally everyone involved doing it that way. Why not write new people of color stories that involve culture in a real way? Like Coco, for example, is really well done. Same with Encanto and Moana, but imagine if they took Merida from Brave and made her black. It's just ridiculous. Now, switch the roles like Moana, make her white. It's messed up. Just write new roles for more diverse people. It would be executed a lot better that way. I feel like most new movies nowadays don't really have any real depth to them anymore. A lot of them seem to lack any good creativity. It's like straight to the point, straight to the climax, and then they end. Not all movies. Like, to get more backstory of the characters, I want to see what kind of person they are. I want to be able to relate to the characters more. That's definitely one major element that makes a film great, I think. When you feel like you're on the same page as a character, you vibe with them. That's one of the best things about a good film.